Manchester is unique. Manchester is innovative. It's a city where anything can happen. New ways of thinking. New approaches. New groundbreaking science. There's a very strong resonance between Manchester's heritage as a city driven off the back of textiles and what's happening today. With the establishment of the science hub in Manchester is creating a real critical mass which is going to enable us to lead the world. Manchester is recognised as the first industrialised city. Renowned scientific discoveries from splitting the atom, discovering the first computer, right through to graphene, this new wonder material. It's no surprise, given Manchester's scientific credentials, that it has been awarded the designation of European City of Science 2016. We established the BP International Centre for Advanced Materials in 2012 and this is a $100 million 10-year investment in materials by BP and we chose to site the hub here at the University of Manchester and to have spokes at Imperial College London, the University of Cambridge and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. The work that we are doing is really addressing the challenges we're facing in our everyday in our industry. So one particular challenge is hydrogen embrittlement. Hydrogen gets into the structures of steel and if left unattended, will eventually basically just destroy the structure of the steel. Corrosion costs are about $2 trillion per annum globally to fix and the fundamental understanding around this will spread way beyond our sector. The impact of embrittlement of materials and failure is not only economic, it's also where the environment may be damaged, or more critically, where human life is lost. The instrument that I work with mainly is called uh, Nanosims, the only technique worldwide that can get a real fundamental understanding of where hydrogen is going inside these metals. There are only 40 of them worldwide, three in the UK. Uh, they cost about £3 million each. You can do things that other microscopes can't do. This is something that's really groundbreaking, so it's all brand new information and that's what I really enjoy. Growing up in Manchester is definitely a big part of me being interested in science. It inspires you and makes you think, you know, I can do this too. As a scientist, you know, being here in Manchester, operating right at the cutting edge with all of this investment going on in materials right now, you're looking at really pushing the boundaries of science and then part of that scientific community and being able to kind of tap into that expertise means we greatly increase the chance of some scientific breakthrough. It makes life very exciting.